Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Bill from Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City, and thanks for coming back for another word of encouragement. This is a weekday video series that we're putting out to help us all to put our minds and, and thoughts uh, back onto the sure foundation of God's words of encouragement in the Bible. And uh, in these recent days, we've been using this time to walk through one of the most encouraging chapters of all of scripture, that is Romans chapter 8. And last um, video, we took a look at that, that foundational verse that's so popular, uh, verse 28, 828, which says that we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, those who are called according to his purpose. But today, we will go on to see verse 29 and 30. Excuse me. Oh, verses 29 and 30, which continue that thought with, with this. Uh, Paul says, For those he, that is God, for those that God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he would be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called, and those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. Oh my goodness, these two verses are just theologically packed. They are so dense with hope and encouragement. Just to think here that God foreknew it, that he foreknew us. If you are in Christ, if you are, if you are saved, if you want to use that word, then God foreknew you from all eternity past. It says that he predestined you and he predestined you to be conformed to, to Christ. He predestined you not only to salvation, but also to what we call sanctification, to becoming more and more like Jesus. As a matter of fact, it says here that, uh, that it's for the purpose or, uh, that we would be brothers with Jesus. Oh, I hope that that fills you with great hope today, great encouragement today, that you, if you are in Christ, that you are actually a brother with Christ. And then verse 30 it is what uh, we often refer to as the, uh, the great golden chain of salvation. And it goes like this. Uh, those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. This is the, the chain with an unbreakable links that leads from predestination all the way through to glorification, that, that glorious day where we will receive our new bodies and reside eternally in the unmediated presence of God in heaven. Well, I hope that that is encouraging to you. It sure is to me. I'm blown away uh, by, by these thoughts. And, uh, and I hope also that you'll tune in tomorrow for another word of encouragement.